Well, hey, you know what? It, it doesn't cost a fortune to look good, does it, Dawn? It doesn't, but no. uh, we're talking about crafts today. I know, but yes. things that you can do to sort of enhance your look. Exactly, or even your surroundings. Thanks very much, Mark. And we've got uh, Faith Levine here, who's the author of Handmade Nation, as well as a documentary filmmaker. Who'd have thought you could make a documentary about crafts, but you have. And before we go any further, why don't we take a little uh, look at the clip? People who want to support small businesses, who appreciate handmade things, having something that you know they can't buy on a rack at a department store. What it means to me is, might not be the same as what it means to someone else. I think the one thing that everyone has in common is that they realize that it's sort of people versus the machine. So Faith, we're talking a little bit about the, cul the culture of the craft. And what is it that makes it so important for you that you would you know, create a documentary and also write a book, Handmade Nation? Well, there's, there's a lot of elements involved. I think for a lot of people, it's very empowering to make something themselves and to go through the process of picking the fabric and the materials and, and that um, sort of a thing. And then also being able to sell something you make and create a, you know, an income out of that. And there's such a culture in this that you actually traveled 19,000 miles. And tell me what you learned on your travels. Well, you know, there's not one type of person who's involved in this DIY community. Um, all types of mediums, all types of ways of creating your own lifestyle and doing things yourself. Do you think that we've seen it change over the years, though? It seems to me back in, you know, maybe the great-grandmother's days or whatever, it was more out of a necessity, right? You just couldn't go to the store to buy some of these things. Right. And, you know, to be fair, a lot of us probably still have in our mind a perception of, you know, the knitting, the embroidery, and it's grandma, you know, on the rocking chair doing it, but this is not the case. Absolutely not. And I think it's really important to point out the fact that there's, you know, people never stopped making things themselves. And what's, what's going on right now is that there's a younger generation who has sort of become aware of these traditional methods of, you know, handcraft and cooking. And um, people are revisiting those and putting a contemporary twist on them. So it's more approachable to a younger demographic. And there really is just this whole social aspect of it. I mean, you think craft fairs and everything. And you brought some great crafts that people right. can get locally, right? Absolutely, yeah. So what kind? What was your? What were your findings as far as the different, you know, uh, craft fairs and the different culture around? You haven't necessarily attended one here in Vancouver, but what's your perception of Vancouver and the local craft scene? Well, there's a ton of stuff coming out of Vancouver, and really because of the internet, um, craft and people going back to these traditional methods, you can tap into any sort of thing that you want to online and find a community online and then bring that back to your physical city. Um, in Vancouver there's um, a bunch of different craft fairs. You have Got Craft and there's a bunch of local stores. There's a lot of big blogs focusing on DIY and handmade that are based out of Vancouver as and well. And so how important is it then to buy local? Again, you brought some, some interesting uh, different examples of, of items that people can obtain locally. Well, I think what's really important about buying local and experiencing that interaction where you're buying something from someone who made it is you get to interact with the person and, and meet them and possibly talk about the materials and where they're coming from and why they decided to make, you know, choose that and, you know, those sorts of things. So. And something that could go down through the generations and it's just really about supporting the art, really it is an art. Absolutely. Again, uh, we've got Faith Levine, author of Handmade Nation, uh, also the documentary. By the way, uh, there is a screening tonight yeah. at the uh, Rio Theatre at 7 p.m. There's the book right there. We also have a pair of tickets to give away so you can uh, drop us an email, win at citytv.com, subject line handmade. And again, for more information on the screening at the Rio, you can go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much. Thank you very All much. All right. Thanks. Stay with us. You're watching Breakfast Television. Sense the grace and feel the magic in your touch. Oh,